All right, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. If you're new, thanks for coming along. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. Turn on notifications because these videos where I teach you magic come every Wednesday, of course, once a week. You do not want to miss them. So do that right now. Show us some love, give us some likes. And with that being said, let's get started. All right, so here we have my little nephew, George. You're gonna help me out with this effect, right? Okay, you're going to be uh, the volunteer that you would usually perform for, okay? So I'm playing the part of the magician, you're playing the volunteer, okay? Great, so George, I have four different colored crayons, a white one, a red one, a yellow, and an orange. I want you to hold onto the crowns, like so. Good, hold on to them. Now, I'm going to turn around, George, so I can't see what you're doing, but I want you to select the color, and then I'm going to ask you to place that crown into my hand, but I'll turn around so I can't see. So choose a color, don't say anything to me, choose a color. Mm -hmm. When you've done that, I want you to give me that crayon, the color you want, yep. pass it to me. Yep. So just that color? Just that color, pass that color to me. Good, take the other crayons and place them inside your pocket Put them away so I can't see it. Okay? Tell me when you've done that, George. Yes. You've done it? No, I'm going to... Put them away? Got them. They're gone? Yep. You remember what colour you selected? Yep. Yep? You sure? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn around now and I'm not going to look at the crown, okay? I'm going to keep it in my hand. Now I want you to focus on the colour. Think about the colour of the crown. Really focus on the color. Look at me. Think about spelling out the crown, but don't spell it out loud. Do it inside your head. Start with the first letter. It's a W. Yes. H I T E. White. Was your color of the crown white? Yes. There it is, the white crown. All right, now to perform this trick or illusion, it requires some crayons, four different colors. Go ahead, find some crayons, go into the drawers, look for them, go anywhere you can to get some crayons. I don't know, uh, ask your parents for crayons. Just grab the crayons right now, come back, and we'll get started where I give you the secret and the method to the trick. All right, the secret or the method to the trick. You need four crayons. Choose four completely, distinctly different colors. Orange, let's say, yellow, red, and white. That will be important in just a moment. So the secret is really this. When the crayon is placed into your hand, when your hands are behind your back, you're going to scrape off a little bit of crayon on your nail. That way you can get a quick glimpse. Of course, this all happens hands behind your back. So it works like this. You give the four crayons to the volunteer. You say, I want you to select one of the crayons when my back is facing you. That way I can't see exactly which color you've selected. Then put the other crayons away in your pocket and place the crown you've selected into my hand. When it's in your hand, you're going to scrape off, as I said, the color. Then you're going to bring your hand forward. You're going to leave the crayon in your left hand and you're now going to act out. You're going to say, I want you to think about the color, repeat it inside your mind over and over again. Of course, what you've done here by bringing your hand up is you have a quick little glimpse at the color. Now you know what it is. In this case, it's white. I bring my hand up and I act as if I'm extracting the information from George's mind. Repeat it over and over again, George, inside your head. I want you to spell out the color of your crown inside your head. I know it's white, so I start to smell it. Let's start with the W. H-I-T-E. Of course, revealing that it's actually white. So, the technique of scraping is very simple. Just make sure when you bring your hand out that you do not stare at your thumb, okay? In magic, we call it telegraphing. You don't wanna do that. So bring your hand up, get a quick glimpse, and then the rest is acting, showmanship, and presentation. If you get that down, you're going to have a brilliant trick. All right, so there it is, the mind reading effect. 
Now make sure you practice it, practice in front of a mirror, practice filming yourself on your iPad or your phone, review it back. Remember, this one is all about the acting and the presentation. It doesn't require a lot of skill or dexterity. However, do not let that fool you. You must work on the presentation. That's the key. In actual fact, the real secret to this effect is the acting, is the presentation. If you get that down and you practice your speech over and over again, then believe me, you're going to have a miracle on your hands. With that being said, subscribe to the channel. More videos coming to you once a week, every Wednesday. For now, thank you very much and always believe.